Hey yo! Welcome to the GB Studio Game Boy Color Lockout Screen tutorial. So, what is a lockout screen? Every original Game Boy Color game has a lockout screen that shows up when played in a Game Boy, Game Boy Pocket, or a Super Game Boy. Uh, not true for the black hybrid cartridges. So, why would you do this? To uh, let people know to prevent from playing your game in the wrong hardware if it's not optimized for it. Uh, to avoid things like slowdown or graphical glitches, etc. Uh, this is a good practice in my opinion, especially for game jam entries and completed games that you're going to um, publish. So, as you can see, the shell uh, of the cartridge um, has a, like a cutout notch uh, on the original games and um, not on the Game Boy Color games to prevent uh, being played on a Game Boy Classic, but it would still work to turn the Game Boy on if it's a Game Boy Pocket or a Super Game Boy. Um, also true for emulators and web builds and um, for some homebrew cards. So how to create a logout screen in GB Studio? Um, this project I'm showing you will be uploaded to HIO if you need to look into it, uh, into the project data or want to um, use like the uh, Game Boy Color graphic that I made. It will be linked uh, in the description. So first of all, enable color mode. So you go to view, settings, Game Boy Color options, and then you enable color mode here. And then you go back to the game world. And uh, I want to show you two different variants, two possible variants, both very easy. There are more ways to do this, but um, yeah, this is like the usual way to do it. So um, you have a check scene. So usually this would be your first scene in the game, your logo or your start screen or whatever. Um, so typically not your actual game. And in that scene you check if color mode is available and if it is available you change to scene 3 in this case where your actual game starts or the next screen, the next logo, whatever. And if it's not available, so else, you will go to scene 2 in this case um, which shows uh, a graphic like Game Boy Color only or displays a dialogue uh, this is only for Game Boy Color, whatever, how, however you like it. And um, the second way would be to do the same thing um, at the game start. So maybe it's a Game Jam game and your game starts directly without any logo or anything uh, in front. So you would run it here. So you would just uh, check um, event color if color mode is available and then do the same thing like just stay here or if not available then jump to uh, the lockout screen or even simpler just show a dialogue like this is only for Game Boy Color. <clears throat> okay that's it actually. So I will export this and uh, show how it performs and if it works. So export as a ROM. I will um, show this in BGB emulator because it's very good uh, and accurate and good to show this. So. Now it's running in um, Game Boy Classic DMG mode, so it will show the um, Game Boy Color only screen. I can change the system here, and I change it to Game Boy Color, and reset the hardware. So now it will jump to the Color Game Start screen, and in color, of course, and if I go to Super Game Boy, this is not a Game Boy Color, um, apply and reset then it shows the Game Boy Color only screen again. So it works fine. Um, if there is any feedback or questions, just leave a comment. Um, and yeah, the next video will be music related again. Uh, also an additional info, I launched a Patreon recently. Um, there is a new song published every month that is usable in GB Studio or GBDK and stuff like that in huge format. Uh, more options and details uh, are on Patreon. Patreon.com slash is also linked in the descriptions. Bye bye!